in this creamy pumpkin bisque, we really get a nice depth of flavor from caramelizing the onions at the beginning. So they're really sweet and really rich. And then throwing in a little splash of white wine just adds to the depth of this soup. And I have all the ingredients chopped up and laid out and we'll start the cooking process. So we're gonna start with a really good butter. Don't skimp on the fat. The secret to this creamy bisque is in the caramelization of the onions and shallots. So go ahead and saute them in the butter for a good 15 to 20 minutes until they get nice and browned but not burned. Add the garlic in after the onions are already caramelized because the garlic is really bright and fresh. And then a little bit of fresh nutmeg, fresh rosemary, really create a depth to this French-inspired bisque, which is just a fancy word for creamy soup traditionally made with seafood broth. A splash of dry white wine really takes the complex flavors of the soup to the next level, so don't leave it out. Don't worry about the alcohol, it'll burn off when you're cooking it. I used pumpkin puree in this video because I had prepared a giant Cinderella pumpkin to have on hand for various recipes, but you can easily use cubes of steamed or roasted butternut squash. For a vegan or vegetarian option, try mushroom broth for its complex earthy flavors. This recipe is very adaptable. Just play around using the flavor principles. Think French cafe. Turn off the heat, season with a generous grind of salt and pepper. Stir in something creamy and blend until smooth. Invite the senses to light up by garnishing with fresh herbs as beauty feeds the soul. So try this creamy pumpkin soup and serve it with a nice uh, warm bread or even pair it with the almond pumpkin spice muffins that I have in another recipe. So then you have that little, little sweet and savory mix. Enjoy!